Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca and I'm a librarian here at San Diego State. Hi, my name is Karen and I'm a student here at San Diego State. And we're going to talk about how to use the OneSearch feature on the San Diego State Library homepage. What is OneSearch and how do you use it? OneSearch is a tool that is available to SDSU students if you're doing research or if you just want to check out if the library has a specific book, movie, or CD. It's available to you. It searches across most of the library databases in one spot instead of having to go into all of them separately. Yes, it's a cool feature. And it's a really great place to start your research if you don't know where to begin. You mentioned that you can search for a specific resource like a book. How would you search for that using OneSearch? On the main homepage, and type in whatever book I'm looking for in quotation marks. If you know the exact title. Yes. If you don't know the exact title, don't use the quotation mark. And what the quotation marks tell the system to do is keep those words together. Look for those words together and in that order. So it's a good way if you've got like an exact phrase like civil rights or the name of something like Harry Potter or a particular theory or act, quotation marks say, hey, I need to find these words in, in that order so it won't search for each word separately. We've got results. We've got a bunch of results, some of which are an actual discussion about Harry Potter and some of which are Harry Potter. I want to point out up at the top, if you're looking for something that has specifically Harry Potter in the title, you can use the little drop down box and choose title. Same thing if you know the author, you can also do that. So it's only searching through the titles of the book or it's only searching through the list of authors of the books for those resources. And there you go. Nice. Yeah, there's so many resources available in the library that it's really helpful to narrow down your search as much as you can. And this will work with an article too, if you know the name of an article. And like I said before, don't use the quotation marks if you're not 100% sure. If you know some of the words, just type in some of those words and then you can dig through a little bit. Now, what would you do if you wanted to do research on a particular topic? I'm a social work major, so I'm thinking cognitive behavioral therapy. If you wanted to search for cognitive behavioral therapy, where'd you start? Uh, just to give me an idea of what kind of stuff is out there. So I would go ahead and type it in, in quotation marks, because I want to look specifically for that term. Yeah, those three words together and in that order. If it wasn't a particular term, if it could be broken up, then don't use the quotation marks. And Oh, and look, we've got a variety of different types. So we've got like a DVD, you've got a book, you've got a definition or a reference entry. It looks like an encyclopedia, book chapter, article. This is great. You've got a variety of different types of resources. And we have tens of thousands of resources. Yeah, I want to narrow that down. I would do that with the tweak my results option on the left hand side. I want to narrow my search to articles from the year 2000 to now. So I would go ahead and type in 2000 and refine my result. Oh, but I also forgot to put peer reviewed. Now if you're going to refine the results a little bit further, is that filter that you put on going to stay? Not if you don't lock it. How do you do that? You lock it by going under the filters and you select the filter you want to keep and select that lock icon. And that filter will stay in your results for the next time you filter. Yes, so now I'm, now I'm filtering for peer reviewed and it's still there. By doing that, you've lost tens of thousands of results that you don't have to go through because you now have just peer reviewed articles and you have things that are published from 2000 on. Mm -hmm. So that's a really great way to narrow your results. Another thing to do, of course, is to add additional search terms because if you wanted to know something specifically about mm -hmm. cognitive behavioral therapy, if you add another search term, it's going to have to include those words in there. A lot of times I get clues of other terms I want to use based on looking at the results. Yeah, so I'm looking at treating individuals with dual diagnoses. That might be something that I'm interested in and I might refine my results to specify that. Um, let's take a look at this result and just kind of read through it. How would you determine whether or not this is an article that'd be worth reading? I would select that article and scroll down to the notes section and then it'll give you a snippet of what the article will be talking about and you can determine if that's something you're interested in. How would you access that article? Under the available online, there are these links to different databases. So you just select one of those links and it should direct you. Yeah, it'll open it up in that particular database. And then yes. you can it, it look for like the PDF or the HTML or anything to open that article once you're in there. Mm -hmm. I see these options at the top. Could you tell me just a little bit about a couple of them? The one in quotation marks is a citation, so if you need to do a reference for your paper, you would select that. I always say make sure you double check it because sometimes they're wrong. Yeah, I've 
experienced that. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to edit them um, before you submit it. And then you've got print, email, and text. You can email yourself that article. And then there's a little pin option. How do you use that? If you're logged into the SDSU library page, then you can use the pin feature and you can go into your My Account and look at all your pinned articles. That makes it easier. So it saves it for the next time you go in. And without logging in, if you pin it, it's not going to be there the next time. So email it to yourself also. That's overview of how to use OneSearch. Well, thank you, Karen, for joining me. Thank you, Rebecca. And uh, if you need any help with your research, contact a librarian. That's why we're here. We're happy to help. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.